So I was uh, needing to do a spreadsheet, and all I had was a terminal session the other day. And memory took me back to SC, the spreadsheet calculator, and I figured that'd be a good jumping off point to do quick, hopefully five minute or less. You know, I can be a little long winded. You know, bits, little little videos on some maybe older or even new ones, very very handy. Uh, bits of software um, that may be forgotten, uh, may not be forgotten. Typically things that will run in a low resource environment, uh, so for retro computing, and or may be useful over a low bandwidth connection. So the first one is SC, which is the spreadsheet calculator. If you're familiar with VI, a lot of the stuff is, is similar here, so I figure we'll go through five minutes we can create a quick uh, spreadsheet. Um, I'll show off some of the uh, some of the features here. Um, so, I guess for uh, for what we'll do here, we'll create a uh, a fake mockup of my uh, monthly expenses. So we'll start create a a row, couple columns, column headings. So we'll use the left angle bracket to do a left string item and we'll do that again for our other column heading dollars amount uh, and then in there we'll use the right angle bracket to put the uh, put a right justified string we can also use the backslash to do a center justified string say coffee and then we use equals to insert a numeric so we'll say Coffee is what? Um, $100. Put in another one. Pet food. 300 And finally, check from eBay. That's ah, too long. Uh, so we'll delete the contents of the cell with X. A little bit smaller and more manageable. We'll call this $800. Um, then to put in a formula, and there's plenty of formulas and there's some really cool stuff, and if there's interest we could go in there more. Best part about this program, completely documented in the man page. Uh, but we just want to sum this. So again, equals to put in a numeric. Um, put in the the at to bring it to start a, a function, and we're just going to do the sum. Be one through three. Uh, we want to change the format here. Um, we can do a capital F. Put in a format. We want this to be in dollars. Now let's let me get out of that. Uh, finish the format dollars and then hash marks to the left of the decimal place. Kill that. I'll do four and then zeros right of the decimal place since so we have a format there. What's really nifty is you can call out to macros. Uh, and you can call out to external functions. So we can pipe our data to something. I don't have any useful pipe set up, uh, but we'll just pipe something here. So we'll re replace that 12, we'll you know, do that same 1200 there with a uh, string to number and call an external function. I'll just do the, the classic echo. And what do we want here? We'll echo B3. Says external functions disabled. Again, when this was written in the 80s, that might have taken a while. Nowadays, not too much of a deal. Control T brings up your uh, settings toggle. Turn on external functions. See, we have that echoed back there. So that's pretty handy. If you don't have enough functions here, you want to pipe something. I could see piping something to, say, R. Right? You want to do some more statistical uh, work on it. Pretty handy. Macros as well. Let's let me uh, delete that with X. 
and write this out to a file, capital P, call it SC, and there also are options for outputting tables for LaTeX, all sorts of other cool stuff. And we'll take a look at the file format, because the file format is what's really impressive, and you can see how you can do some cool stuff with macros. But I've already been doing here for a few minutes, so we'll uh, finish this off here. Let me get out of here. Control C, we'll, we'll get out. And that is our file format. So you see, incredibly modifiable uh, and processable with text uh, manipulation engines. So I think this is pretty fantastic. See, we have a go to, um, and that's pretty nifty. So I guess that wraps it up here. Leave a comment below if there's any small tools, old tools, utilities, uh, especially in the Unix world, although we might look at some stuff in, in the DOS world, right? Uh, you know, the uh, there were a lot of these sort of little little utilities. And one side note, if you're familiar with the XSpread spreadsheet, um, this, uh, I believe, does the same sort of uh, functions and, and data is portable between the two. I said I was going to be done but not quite. SC, at least on Slackware here, is included by default. Uh, in previous video we built it for uh, SmartOS, uh, but there exists another package, which I haven't dug into too much, uh, which there's a Slack build for, which is SCIM, which is an improved uh, SC, which apparently can handle more rows and does uh, things like the ability to load XSLX uh, and CSV natively. So, uh, pretty cool and has a little bit more uh, a few more features and is more up to date. So I think this is a cool piece of software. Uh, leave a comment if there's something else you want to see or you want to see more on SC because uh, I could see, you know, doing some fun tricks, typing this, uh, putting this together with a little bit of Perl, maybe a little bit of R, or, you know, you could do it with Python if you're so inclined uh, to do some really, really cool tricks and do, you know, entry forms, etc., etc. Well, that's it for now.